How old were you when you had your first phone? And do you remember what kind it was? Oh, it was a flip phone and I was probably 30 something. Yeah. I had a beeper before that. <laughs> so now obviously things are changing where kids are probably like six, seven, eight when they first have a phone in their hand or an iPad. So how can we be more responsible with this technology in their hands now? I mean, the thing is, as you say, long before kids get a smartphone, they have an iPad. Usually by one, two, three, four years old, they actually know how to operate the iPads. Um, and so kids are getting into a lot of things by accident, even with conscientious parents who are tech savvy, kids are still seeing things that they shouldn't. So I think we should think about digital literacy and digital education, much like we do health ed, sex ed, where we start very young and small and light and build the education as the child gets older. Beyond reading your book, what are some things, to, some key points that you want to drive home for parents right now? So parents definitely have to talk to kids about phishing, scamming, predators that are online. I mean, we talk about stranger danger, but kids don't really know what that looks like in a digital environment. I mean, sometimes I even get a text from somebody and I'm thinking, is that really UPS or is that a scam? And often it's a scam. So we have to really develop kids um, keen sense of uh, looking through something and making a judgment. Is this safe or is this person not safe? And to always you know, know that they should never share information about their personal lives, you know, their home phone, their address, their birth date with people online, even if they think that they're friends with them. Sometimes predators are in chat rooms for several years before they, you know, ask kids for something like that. So the kids think they're actual friends. A lot of parents have been talking about how their kids get on the iPad and start making purchases now because that credit card is attached. And they don't even need the iPad. Quite honestly, they can even just ask Alexa um, to order things and they have. Um, but, you know, again, this is things that parents really need to talk to their kids. It's not like things just show up. We pay for them. We work. We make money. And that goes to our credit card. And that's what pays for all these things. So we just can't order. Otherwise, we can't pay our bills. And parents don't talk to their kids about money a lot of times. We don't show them behind the curtain about how things run. But when it comes to the digital world, we really have to do that so much more in order to keep them safe and to keep them from spending, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars on their credit cards.